Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing the version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the GB Jam 5. The GB Jam is a Game Boy themed jam where developers had to keep the original Game Boy screen resolution, make all of their assets during this jam, and use only four colors in their game. I'm playing all of the games that are in from this jam for about a minute each, 10 per video. Links to the games will be in the description so you can check them out further. And all my info will also be in the description so you can check me out. At the end, I'll probably have an article of my favorites on Game Jolt's Fireside, so keep a lookout for that. As a side note, this jam is currently doing a Kickstarter because this is the fifth version of the jam. They want to continue making uh, Game Boy jams and make it even better and do some website upgrading and host it on their own site and stuff. So if you want to check out the Kickstarter, it'll, it's on the Game Boy Jam page linked in the description and you can see if you can help out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, liking, commenting. Next. We're playing Racer Mania. Alright. So I am this. Ah, oh, I crashed. I am this little car. And I can kind of go in between roads. I feel like in the middle there's fuel sometimes, but then sometimes there's like cones, maybe? Fuel. I feel like we definitely need fuel, though. No, you're doing good. Nope, I didn't get the fuel there. Oh, we can crash into cars, it seems. Or we can, oh, we can crash into cars three times before the game stops. Yeah. Uh, I keep going out towards the cars. Oh, a nice little game. Boom. Right. Next. We're playing Super Princesses 2092 Exodus. This game requires a Game Boy emulator. Press start. Okay. Try and music. Alright. Just learning the keys. Because <laughs> I have no idea. Two lives left. I feel like I should be able to shoot. Maybe not though. Nope, found the shooting button. Awesome. Awesome. Now we're in business. Nope. So we can only shoot that when we come near it. Thanks for playing. It's like, nope, you sucked. Try again. Why? Why do I... Okay. There we go. Now I've got spikes. It's fine. We're good. Ah, oh, they go through the blocks, even. Ah! I'm not good at this at all. Do my shots go through blocks? No. Nope. I ran into that as I fell. Ah, oh, stage one. Okay. I bet you I just suck at it. I bet you other people will be great at this game. Okay. No! Uh. there for whatever reason. Nope. Nope. I was gonna try to like sort of jump and then shoot. Didn't work out. Next. We're playing Ultimate Evil. Alright. After the mysterious disappearance of multiple people around the Red Hill Forest area, your special forces police unit was sent to investigate the case. During the investigation, your unit got a tat- oh. Did not have enough time to read that. Right. Let's go through a door. How do we interact? Enter. Left mouse. Okay, this is a very creepy vibe to it. Enter. Sus inspect. Okay. Can't inspect that. 
It's one key to do a lot of stuff, so I'm just trying to figure it all out. Keep hitting E to interact. It's locked. Small key. All right. Can you inspect this? Nope. All right, we shall continue. This feels quite creepy. It's too dangerous to go outside. Oh, okay. It's locked chest key. It's locked a feather is engraved. All right, so we can go through this one. Oh, there's a chest, pistol, knife. Oh wait, chest key. All right, it's gonna say we don't really need a pistol or a knife. That was our inventory, obviously. All right, we just were by a door that needed a chest key. It's locked. A feather is engraved. Okay. We can use our key there. Can we inspect these? No. Bet you we can like inspect stuff with like a star over it, like the chest in that room. There's another key. Ooh, it's sounding even spookier. Next. We're playing All Hollows Dungeon. Alright. They look at their little pumpkins. I love little pumpkins and ghosts. This is adorable. Kill the ghost. Even though ghosts are already dead, we killed it. Hearts are friendly, skulls are not. Good to know. I thought I... I, thought I definitely killed you. Oh, they exploded. Okay. I'm gonna stay away from them. Okay. Am I looking for something specifically? You get this little ghost. I like the graphics. It looks like a very cute Halloween-y game. Yay. Oh, I ran too close to the ghost. Bam. Okay. Oh, it changed like where the door was. Because I came up into this room and it didn't allow a path back down. Neat. Next. We're playing gear gun. Don't have a gun. Uh, apparently this game is a bit unfinished. It looks really neat though. I feel like I should have gotten picked up something, but maybe not. It's like a button. Nope. It's like little panels on the wall. Alright, let's see where this takes us. Just like a light. Kind of looked like an orb for a minute there. Whoa. Oh, we're trapped in here now. We have a gun. Oh, look at that. And they open up these weird wall panels. Ugh. Oh, I hit quite a bit by that. This looks like a really nice game. Especially for a game that says it's uh, quite unfinished. The music's also super nice. I'm gonna die very soon though. Huh. Next. We're playing Turner's Adventure. Oh, I have like a boomerang I can throw. Okay. I can jump. Straight into the water. I don't know how to like. Do I have a double jump? No. Oh, there's like a lever up there. Okay. There we go. I 
I'm trying to figure out what each of the levers do before continuing. This music's quite intense. Can we jump high enough to- yeah, we can. Oh, okay. There we go. Stay away. Never. Grab that guy as well. Bam! Oh! Threw a rock at me. I can't throw my boomerang again for whatever reason. It's not letting me. Oh no! I broke it. Seems like a very interesting game. Next! Playing Super Space Time Traver Transverse. Alright, WSD, Space, V or B for shield. The auto charge shield slows time for nearby objects, use it for protection. The shield is charged at maximum release center to destroy everything around you. Okay. Let's do this. The graphics are really nice. I feel like the shield is uh, charging. So we can kind of touch it to things and destroy it over time. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Just trying to understand the shield. If I need to like keep it up in the little particle-y bit. Oh, that was pretty cool. But now I've got basically no shield while I wait for it to grow back up again. Ah, that one hit me. This is a really nice game. Love the look of everything as well. Next. We're playing hyperdimensional combat vessel arrow. Ooh. Wow, I'm not gonna do very good at this at all. I can feel it. Okay. Oh, the ship isn't fully repaired. Let's talk. How are you? Who are you? Who are you? Hey, I asked first. I don't know who I am. So, what do you want? Where am I? This is the Air Boy. Arena abandoned decades ago. I'm the only one that remains. Ah, uh, well, goodbye. Thank you for repairing my ship. You totally didn't have to do that. Can we enter them? No. Just figuring maybe we could enter that other area. Why is everyone attacking me? Um, repair. The ship is fully repaired and dock. So that's just how we get more life. That's quite nice. Seems like a very interesting game. Ah, uh, dock. Talk. Hey, oh, it's you again. What keeps you here? It's not like I can go anywhere else. Aw, you should join me. Next. We're playing Old Man's Quest. We'll take those. Bam. Okay. Apparently this is the old man from Zelda. He's going through to embark on his own adventure. I'll take this. I'm just picking up everything because I can. I've actually got two attacks. I've got this one, which can kill them from far away. And then I've got my sword. Never knew the guy from Zelda was so cool. He did give us that sword, didn't he? He lost a lot of health right there. Okay. Grab that. Kind of have to wait for our mana to regenerate, but the potions do help. 
seems like a pretty solid game. I like the story behind it. It not just being any old man, but the old man we know and love from Zelda. Nice little touch. Boom. Boom. You take all of this. Next. We're playing QA testing. All right, I'm an intern QA tester. So I have to decide if these Nintendos are good or not. Sure. You don't look good. You look good. Well, that one has a small thing, so no. So we're just deciding if these uh, Nintendos are good enough. That one doesn't look good enough. That one does, probably. Yay, now I'm an assistant QA tester. Ah, well the logo is not printed well on that one. Nope. Sure. It's a pretty simple game, but it's really nicely made. Oh. That one's probably right. I don't know, because it's like the screens are the wrong size, which is something... Oh, that's wrong, actually. That, that's wrong. Wow, there's such subtle details. That one's good. Probably. That one's probably good. Yeah, probably. Good enough, yeah? Awesome. Next. 